Our next guest says the, quote, blame Bush motto is not a winning strategy for Democrats almost two years into the Obama administration. Bloomberg columnist Carolyn Baum says Democrats should refocus their campaign, and she says, correctly, hold the former president responsible for one thing, the biggest tax increase in history. Carolyn, it's always good to have you on. Thanks good so much. Here, Peter Cook was just saying there are polar opposites on this. You have the former Reagan administration official, Art Laffer, saying fully extend these tax cuts. And surprisingly, because you mentioned this in your column, you know where I'm going. You don't agree with Alan Greenspan on much. No. Nope. But you agree with him on this. I do. Why? Let I the do. tax cuts expire. Well, Mark, with, with tongue firmly planted in chief, <laughs> I wrote this piece yesterday that basically said if you want to blame Bush for something, blame him for this tax increase, which mm -hmm. will happen unless Congress acts. I mean, go back to 2001, and because of our, you know, budget rules that's not worth going into now, Congress passed a 10-year temporary tax cut. And, and let me stop you right there, because I was watching Mitch McConnell on Meet the Press this weekend, and David Gregory was asking him, but the tax cuts weren't paid for, and he never really fully answered the question. So what is the answer to that? Well, the, the answer is, is they, they, they weren't, you know, I mean, hmm. uh, but the point is, is that they did it within a 10 year budget window and it's okay to do a temporary tax cut based on budget rules that increases the deficit, but you can't do it outside of the 10 year window. So I blame all of them for doing short term uh, uh, changes that in, in, improve their election prospects without really doing something what's good for the long term is that, health of the country. Is that why you wrote in the column that the surplus was also always written in invisible ink? You know, we had this tech stock boom in the mm -hmm. late 90s. And because of the cut in the capital gains tax rate in 1997, it was a bonanza for the Treasury. And any serious person that looked at those revenues knew it wasn't a long-term sustainable surplus. It was purely a bubble-related surplus. And of course, our friend Alan Greenspan totally bought into the endless surplus forecast, yeah. went before Congress, given his clout, he signed on to the Bush tax. Carolyn, rates. could I ask you in our last sure. 20 seconds that blame Bush mantra, is there a danger for the Democrats that that could backfire? Because the conventional wisdom is, as soon as you took your hand off the Bible and said, so help yeah. me God, you yeah. own this now. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's old already. You know, move on. <laughs> Carolyn Baum, her uh, column, Forget Bed Bugs Tax Increases Are Bush's Fault. And we should mention that Carolyn's opinions are her own and not necessarily those of Bloomberg News. And I'm sure you got a lot of emails on this one, too, didn't From you? From both sides, yes. There you go. Carolyn, thanks so much. Appreciate it.